Hey, thanks for checking out our 56 Chevy Bel Air. Got it a couple years ago for my wife. Fortunately, she lets me drive it once in a while. Uh, it uh, was from Detroit, Michigan, with frame off restoration. We've made a couple changes over the years. Um, first thing we did was name it Silver Bell, as you can see. Then we added the disc brakes, uh, power windows. New stereo system with Bluetooth, um, but my wife was complaining that it was hard to start, so we fixed that with the biggest change we made of all, and that was the engine. You can come and take a quick look at this. It's an LS3, brand new LS3 430, with a super uh, Matic transmission that came with it. It's a great engine, great ride. So I hope uh, you're able to tune in on the rest of the video it's made by the company we bought from to give you a lot more detail on the car thanks for checking it all out hope you enjoy the rest of the video Look at the chrome on this baby. The bumper's beautiful. The bumper guards are beautiful. The grill, the, the nose piece on the HUD, the emblem, the eagle, or the airplane. <laughs> that thing is so cool. The trim around the headlights. Look at the silver paint. Unbelievable. It looks great. All the stainless down the side is nice and straight. Nicely polished. Great looking wheels. Great looking paint. The stainless around the windshield looks great. The chrome on the vent window, on the flipper, all this stainless. Look how beautiful it is. And look at that door jam. She looks brand spanking new, new rubber. You can see they had the latch out, all new screws, beautiful interior. Look at all that stainless going down the quarter there. Look at this purple paint. Man, is it sharp. I love it. And the bodywork, this is almost a perfect reflection here. The chrome on the uh, tail lights here looks great. Back bumper looks great. Look at those tail or uh, those um, exhaust pipes there. The V emblem here looks awesome. Look in that trunk. Look at the paintwork in here. It's phenomenal. The carpeting, all the upholstery on the back here. The paintwork on the bottom side. They've even uh, put some upholstery in up here. They chromed up the latch. They've got the latch down here chromed also. Of course, everybody knows this is how you put gas in a 56 Chevy, right? Isn't that cool? Shuts down nice and tight. Now look down the side of that car. Look how straight it is. Look at the way that door flushes out to the quarter panel. It practically disappears. Look at the door jam. Super clean again. Wow, talk about custom. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the paintwork, the chrome, the door jam, the carpeting, the center console, the custom wrap on the steering wheel. We've got seat belts in the front and the rear. Take a look at that rear seat. That baby looks like it's out of a 2015 Cadillac. The headliner, even the dome lights working. You can see all the trim insides all chromed out and beautiful. The dash is full of aluminum that's all polished. Beautiful paintwork on the dash. This car is off the hook nice. All right, let's take this 56 for a ride. I love it. Look at that, no hands on the wheel, no problems. Horns working, radio's working, we'll turn that down. Fans working, speedo, we've got voltage, fuel, oil pressure, and what's that other one? Temperature. Looks like the uh, windshield wipers are working. The tilt wheel is tilting. Power steering feels good. I love the exhaust on this baby. She's got a great sound to her. Let me 
accelerate here. Man, I love to hear that. Unbelievable, that sounds so good. Very comfortable driving here. I love the low car shifter. Got a tack down here in the console. Armrest right here where you need it. Got a couple of cup holders here for your coffee. This baby's ready to go on a cruise, head up to the car show, go out for ice cream, out to dinner, blast to drive. And one of the cool things about this car is take it anywhere, start winning first place trophies. This car is over the top. Look at how polished up the dash is here. All the paintwork looks great. The upholstery is off the hook on the car. You can be proud to take this car anywhere. Hold your head high. This baby's sweet. What a beautiful 56. Look at this baby. We've got uh, battery lugs back here. So if the battery dies, hook your jumper cables up right there and you're ready to rock and roll. The frame's got nice paint. Look at that exhaust system. I love the tips. Gigantic, that's three inch. There's paint work here on the bottom of the uh, trunk floor. Looks great. Now, the rear fenders here, I don't see any evidence that any patchwork or anything ever went on. Really, really nice here. Good looking springs. We got aluminum lowering blocks. That looks like about uh, maybe an inch and a half, maybe two inch lowering blocks. That's what's giving it that awesome stance. We've got a sway bar here. We've got QA1 shocks, new U-bolts. Now the brakes, we'll pull those completely apart. We'll make sure that the wheel cylinders are good. We're gonna make sure they're installed correctly the whole nine yards. Now she's an open diff and it's got the um, period correct rear end there. Uh, we ride around the 350 gear. Um, nice highway gear. We got some pipes, mufflers here. Looks like three inch up front here too. Parking brakes are hooked up. The um, body mounts are in good shape. This is one place that I always look on these um, Tri-5s is this mount right here. It does look like it was replaced, but they did such a nice job. It's all welded and grinded in there. You can't hardly tell they even replaced it. Now, the shutoff switch for the batteries right there. Looks like a fuel filter here. Back side of the rocker looks great here. All the rubber here from the frame to the body looks good. These floorboards are beautiful and they're nice and smoothly painted. You want to get under here with Windex and some paper towel to keep this baby clean. No problems here. Um, rocker on this side also looks great. Turbo 350 Trans. She does have a chrome pan on her, a chrome cover on the torque converter. We've got a real nice aluminum cover for the uh, fuel. Uh, that's the oil filter. Nice chrome pan on this 350. Got disc brakes up front. New lines up here. Uh, rotors look good. Flex lines look great. It's got rack and pinion steering. Um, and it is a power rack, so you've got power steering. All the bushings look like they were replaced. We've got a sway bar up front. Nice job on all the wiring. Everything's tied up. Everything's in wire loom. We've got dual horns here. Uh, the springs look like they're new. Frame is nice and clean and straight up front. Wheel wells are nicely painted black. This looks like a brand new car underneath. It is absolutely gorgeous. Well, let's check the wheels and tires. Really sharp looking polished aluminum uh, American Racing uh, rims. We got BFGs up front. It looks like we got 225, 45, 17s up front. You can see those rotors are beautiful. Now let's look at the rear. Wow, got some meat back here. Let's see if I can find the size. There it is. 255, 45, 18s out back. Same good looking aluminum polished wheels. And look at the paintwork here. Look how everything's nicely finished. Beautiful car here.